Hello, my name's Andy and welcome to the garage. Welcome back everyone and it's great to have you on board. There's not been a video on purchases for a while because to be quite honest, pickings have been a bit mean and lean until now. So I think the last one I did was April. These are May's purchases. A Jaguar XK120, good condition. Charity shop buy, just a pound. Nothing to do to him. And then one of those Rolls Royce 4B4s. I think they're called a Connaught something. Then while on holiday in Wales, I rarely buy a new model, but I couldn't res resist this um, Chevy 57 Bel Air taxi, who I paid a bit more than perhaps I should have done. But um, 142 scale, King's Mart, made in China. I love the Bel Air, and I thought that was so nicely executed that I had to have it. Then from my mates at the car boot, Paul and Gary, Picked up this um, little transporter, Lesney, number M6. It's got the trailer in the back. The glass is all reasonably good on it. And I've got some race cars, so I wanted to do that. But the major haul came from while I was on holiday in Dorset in the New Forest. And I picked up quite a few things. Aeroplanes and various cars and commercials. So here is a, the prize winner out of the aeroplanes. I mean, I have seen all these before, so it's not a mystery box to me. This is a Douglas A4E Sky Raider, as you can see, used in the Vietnam War. Used for close air support. Some of these are still flying, but not in military use. And a great model. Whoops, all I could find wrong with that was it had been glued. You can see there on that pylon. But that's not going to be a problem. Just a bit of white paint over that, I think. Right, I want to put him to the back there. Now, there are quite a lot of aeroplanes in the first few minutes. Then we'll move on to all the cars and trucks. It's just that the aeroplanes are at the top of the pile because they're um, a bit more fragile. So here we have B17 in black, not a colour I thought was flown in the war ever. It's a B17G, Maisto, lovely example. I can't say much on the colours, obviously B17 the main bomber for the US Air Force along with the B24 Liberator in the Second World War. But I've never seen one in black. Then. A P47 Thunderbolt. His prop's a bit bent. I should be able to free him up eventually. Another Maisto P47D. There'll be fuel tank drops. These are um, ground strafing, close air support, and um, B17 escorting. Along with the Mustang. <coughs> And there we have another P47 with its nickname on the side, the Jug. Powerful plane with that big, I think it was a radial engine up front. No markings on that one underneath as to who made it. But I think we can probably say it's going to be a Maisto. Or an Atlas Editions. <clears throat> Next up, whoop. F4U Vought Corsair, made in China by Maisto. F4U1D, don't know if you can see that there in the light just on the wingtip, now you can. Lovely example, and I think these did stay in service in the Vietnam War in some role as well. Another one in black. Now the desk's going to fill up quite rapidly here, so I'll have to reach over and put some to one side. Made in China, doesn't say who made it. But I can tell you what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a P-51 Mustang. Unmistakable shape there in the Mustang. That 
cockpit canopy there and the wings. US Air Force, fighter escort. Brilliant little model. I paid a pound each for these, which I thought was um, really excellent. Hmm, not so much on my civils, but A320 maybe. Um, Lesney, Matchbox, A300 Airbus. Um, I am tempted to say, even though I'm a bit of a geek plane spotter, they do all look the same. And that's an Air France example. Which led to the all-time bestseller, the A320, which looks very similar. Not one you often see. I think it's a Zero, a Japanese Zero, made in China. It doesn't say. But I do think that's a, probably meant to be a Zero. I'll stand corrected. But nice tidy model. All of these aeroplane models, with the exception of that Airbus, was quite good. I don't think that needs much introduction to anybody who knows planes. The 8 jet engined American B-52 Strato Fortress. First flew in the early 1950s. Still flying today. Has been re-engined. And um, is supposed to fly on until 2050. Nice example. Oh, by the way, they never did carry anything on the outboard wings as far as I know. They did at one time carry Hound Dog missiles on the inside. That's like an early cruise missile, I think. So a bit of an inaccurate but nice model. Then at the other extreme, at the door on a flight, the Blerio monoplane. His tail's been bent down. He'd be in a permanent climb there, and that would be a very heavy stall he'd be going into. That's a corgi, that one. There's a screw there to take out, so I'm hoping to just bend him back, really. The F-104 Starfighter, made by Lockheed. In this case, I can't see it's under that missile there, who's made it. Armour. I think it's armour. I have got the other missile, it did fall off in transit. As I said, these things are delicate. Should be a long pointy nose pivot there. Once called the widow maker. A lot of pilots died in these, partly because they had a downward ejector seat. So you didn't want to eject near the ground without rolling. So you'd go out the top. That's quite a chunky model, that one. Now in private hands, some of those in the United States. This one, P-38 Lightning, Lockheed again. Little Eva on the nose there, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Lovely example in my second P-38 Lightning in my collection. I'll be doing that trick with the old uh, socket. I'm putting these on bases. It's already got, got a hole. In the middle there and that is a nice nice model mainly flew in the far east and um, japanese theater these ones testing my own knowledge now i think it's a b24 liberator looks underneath and it's sorry it's a b25j so it's a mitchell Medium US bomber. Nice example. All got the propellers, which is pleasing to see so far. Many of you may remember this from the Gulf War, the F-117 stealth bomber. F-117A matchbox, 1990. Don't know if you can make that out there. There you go, for you to see. His uh, tailplane's bent, that could be easily bent back, so could that one. Just needs a repaint, really. 
Incidentally, the missiles were held in a bomb bay here that opened and retracted. So there was nothing hanging off to the, under the wings like there was on that B-52 to cause a radar signature. These are now flying with the Air National Guard. They're no longer front line. And I think finally in the planes, Corgi, P-51, Mustang. Very nice, still in its box. I won't take it out now. Might do an unboxing video, they seem popular. But this one has got um, like D-Day invasion stripes on it. So close air support. That's a typhoon, I think, by the way. Right, I think that is all the aeroplanes, apart from a fictional aeroplane from Captain Scarlet. I think they were called Angels. It was the ladies who flew these. They were the fighter pilots in this Captain Scarlet series. And I remember one of them was called Destiny Angel. That's all I can remember. But a very nice model, a very nice model. I don't think these, these are from the um, expensive series of die cast models. This is 1993, Angel Interceptor made in China. It's not branded. I hope you can just see that there. Picked up a few non-branded items from TV shows, etc. What I'll do first is I'll go through the ones that are boxed. So a nice Howden's Joinery Land Rover. I notice in their publicity shots they still have this one going around. He's screwed to the bottom. Um, I don't know who's made him, but it is a lovely example. JRU236. And that's going to go to a good friend of mine who's just joined Howden's Joinery in their SAT team. Then I've got a few of these um, Atlas editions. As you can see there, this is a Tyrrell P34, the six-wheeler, driven by Jody Schechter in 1976. I don't think this car had a lot of success. That's not down to Jody Schechter's driving. Up. It, it was very much an experimental car. Nice thing about these boxes is you can see the view from the back, the top, the side, and the front without taking them out of the box. I'm not sure if what's happened to the wheels because I've got a few of these more to show you. I'm not sure if that's a bit of mould or something's got onto the wheels there. Got two of these, the Williams FW14B 1992, Nigel Mansell's World Championship car. And what a lovely thing it is. I've got this in a bigger scale as well. There you see the wheels are a bit, um, bit grey. It's nice that they've got some detailing on the tyres there. So I've got two of those, so I'll probably end up getting rid of one of those, either swapping or selling. And then, who doesn't love James Bond? His Lotus Esprit Turbo from For Your Eyes Only. Sorry, a bit of light on it there. Not sure who made this. Here we are at the back. GE Fabry Limited. Lotus Esprit Turbo, Lotus Approved. A car of my dreams really, the Lotus Esprit, especially the Turbo. Still commanding good money, especially the Turbos now. Right, let's see what else we've got. Moving on. Most of these I picked up for a pound or 50 pence. Obviously, um, Range Rover, Land Rover Discovery. Let's see if we can find out. Britain's 1993. Don't know if you can see that just in there. It's all there. It's quite a chunky thing. It's a bit play one, a bit dull. Paint's chipped. But more importantly, everything's there. 
bit rusty. But don't know. Oh yeah, the rear door opens. Um, the bottom of the boot's missing. If there was one on the model, there should be a bottom in there. I'm sure it shouldn't be that deep. But I look forward to doing that. I've got another Range Rover as well to do. Oh, you can't see that. I have to move it away from the camera. So I've already got one of these. I think I got it in December. So why did I buy another? Well, it was only three quid. And I thought I might need a parts car. So that is upside down for you. And that is a Corgi John Player Special F1 from the 1970s. Emerson Fittipaldi. <laughs> and by pure coincidence, we still have from the um, Bob Somerville collection, a sticker, I've got two of these, with that very car. And this is 30, 40, 50 years old, this sticker. So what a coincidence that is. The very same car. I'm looking forward to doing this. The, the issue is with these, all these um, stickers or decals, if I went that way, they're all gold and you need a special printer to print gold. So I'll probably have to buy those. They did do a smaller version of this as well. My other one has got this big cone on top, which you can see here, air induct. I'm hoping to somehow make my, my own. I've seen um, other guys making their own um, molds, etc. So I'm hoping to have a go at that. So I'll get two good ones because he is all here, apart from that bit. He's very play worn and dusty, but it's going to be nice. Superman, Corgi, Supermobile, DC Comics, 1979, if you can read that just there, made in Great Britain. I think there's a little bit missing there, but he's, he's just a bit tatty, he is, really. Nothing too far gone wrong there. Not sure if he's, um, these are going to work. These are stiffers. No, nothing's working there, but a nice TV one to have. And everybody loved these in Great Britain, certainly, and Europe. The Mark III Cortina, Ford, Corgi, Cortina, GXL. <clears throat> Very nice. I think all he needs is a good polish. He is perfect and original. Put him to one side, don't need to get damaged in the box having got this far. <coughs> what have we here? Is it is it a little Ferrari Berlinetta or is it a Renault Alpine? It's a Ferrari, it's got the Ferrari badge. And he's very tidy too. I think the bonnet comes up on this looking at it. If I can get to it. Hmm, thought it might. Don't want to force it and break it. I'll be looking into that. Very tidy. Put him to one side. Just going to move these planes out of the way. Give yourself a bit more room. Something very futuristic. Matchbox Speed Kings. K. 32 shovel nose made in Great Britain 1971 made in England Lesney oh, the tops flipped up as if by magic for us nice cockpit shame about the steering wheel we should be able to do something with that very very nice wheels are plastic everything so I'm not sure what that colour was was that it's a funny old colour that And what's next? Guy in a flat cap driving a matchbox Rollomatic Beach Hopper number 47 
1973 Lesney made in England. He is all there, I suspect normally he's a bit that goes missing. But he's all there, he's going to be nice to do. I do love a rally car and um, is this a Mini Metro? Austin Mini Metro. It's not the full blown factory one, this looks more privateerish. The 6R4 was a factory one, it had a big wing, the engine was actually in the back here behind it and um, it got pulled for noise eventually. Something else from Captain Scarlet. Spectrum passenger jet made in China. GPL or CPL Limited. You can just see there, that's just there. Um, oh, his front wheel goes round. It's quite nice actually, so that's, um, let's move that Bentley. And get Captain Scarlet in the front there because we do have another Captain Scarlet made in China by the same company and he's a nice little thing isn't he his engine comes up there a lot you can see that quite a bit of detail in there in that engine lovely little thing Now what's this? Let's see if we can guess. Is it a Nissan? It's a Matchbox Toyota Supra. Three litres when these came out. Still a very much sought after road car. Something missing here at the back. A piece of glass or a, a vented sort of thing. But um, very nice in his racing colours. An old favourite of mine, the Lamborghini Miura, which I did do a few videos ago. K24, Matchbox Speed Kings, 1970. It's missing the black louvre there. This is a bit loose. The engine detailing's there. The glass isn't too bad, actually. Get away with that. And this is the colour of the one that actually pulled the boat. And there was a sticker on here. And I did comment at the time, if I had a Miura back in the day or even today, I wouldn't be pulling any speedboats with it, that's for sure. Next up, a lovely Mark 1 Land Rover, is it? Corgi, short wheelbase Land Rover, if you can see at the bottom there. And to be honest, he's perfect. Not a lot of, a lot of good detailing in the casting, but he's not been painted up. In his original form so let's put him to one side there now i think this is the ferrari berlinetta corgi toys 250 le mans lovely thing there's the engine the tire's gone off the spare wheel that must get very hot in there and now you can see why i probably got through two of them he's never had a wiper he's got a wiper he's a current one made in china a bit more detailing this is the heavier one but both nice number four and number five nothing to do to the yellow one this looks a bit of a bruiser Lamborghini Murak or something like that. Speed Kim's Maserati Bora K96 56 56 Lesney Products Matchbox Speed Kings 1975. And that is quite nice. It's a bit corroded. I tell you what, that bonnet ain't coming up easily. I think it's meant to. I can just see an engine in there. Don't know for it. Glass is all good. He's off to make a lovely restoration, he is. Citroën. Matchbox. Made in Macau. Citroën 15. I don't know if you can just see that there. Nice little thing. Looks like um, 
Second World War-ish. It's all there, he's just badly play-worn. Front bumper's there, grill, number plate, rear bumper's intact, so a nice bag. I think I blagged him for nothing, so I um, bought a few things off that bloke. And here we have it again, the 57 Chevy, but Hot Wheels, 1976. Don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, it's a 76. And to be honest, there's no need to restore him. He just needs good polish. If you could get some matching paint, just touch up these chips. It'd be very nice. So that's a double on the um, 57s. I did buy some old dinkies. And this is the Hudson sedan. I'm guessing that's the original colour. It's like a dark red over a cream. The wheels are still there. They're a bit um, a bit warm, but I tell you what, they may come back. Three rivets, and what a lovely thing. I'm off to. End. I like doing the old dinkies. No screens. Quite simple, but just the shape of that car and that rear window. It's a thing of beauty really, isn't it? It really is. So as much as I like the Chevy, I'll leave the Hudson for you to see. And maybe Captain Scarlet will have to go and park his butt somewhere else. There we go. A Railton Mobile Special. Made in England, it's a Ledo. And you know what? They did do some good models, because that is a lovely Land yacht, land racer, world record holder, whatever. Well, that is nice and he's in very good condition. He won't need restoring. And the great thing about getting him is <clears throat> that I've got a few others with him. So I've got a bit of a collection going already. Craig Breedlove's Spirit of America. Craig Breedlove held the world land speed record for a very long time. It's another Ledo, and I think it wasn't until Andy Green in Frost One. No, it's Richard Noble in Frost One took the world record off him. I don't know if Craig Breedlove tried to come back, but he, he couldn't get the money. That's a, the trouble with it. He couldn't get it all together, the cash and the full package. And he, the record, I believe, still sits with the Brits. And now, of course, we're, we're trying to go supersonic in the... Um, South African desert, but once more we're plagued by a bit of funding problems. <coughs> well, there's a nice thing. Rolls-Royce, Matchbox, Silver Cloud, 1985. I don't know if he ever had the Spirit of Ecstasy on him, but it's not there and I can't feel any groove to say it was. But the glass is good and everything. It's just extremely play-worn. Matchbox International, that one. Now, this is interesting. Schroders. I think this is a promotional piece for a company. Schroders, are they a stock market type company? I don't know. Designed by Troika. Wheels, if you can see, are a bit bent. But he's heavy, and I think that is supposed to be an Austin Healy 3000. <coughs> I had a ride in one of these once, quite short. I like what they've done. They've chromed the whole glass and you know what I've been thinking, what, what can you do if you've got cracked glass, you can't get another piece at a reasonable price. Maybe this is the answer. You chrome the glass. So that's interesting to note. Ambulance. First World War, Daimler, made in England by Meccano Limited, Dinky Toy, one, two, rivets, very warm tyres, but a lovely example of a very early model. I've been looking for one of these for a long time, and imagine my pure happiness having bought a few things off a guy at the car boot in Baldry in the New Forest, Dorset. 
when he said, oh, I've got them out one Capri somewhere. Happiness. And there it is. It's missing a cube headlight, a square headlight on these Mark 1s. But that's a great thing. 3 litre GT. An A35, if you can see that. Corgi. I think he might just polish up. He's lost a bit of paint. And I blagged him for free as well because I bought a few things off the guy. Incidentally, apart from these old dinkies, I paid 50p to a pound. So I bet I averaged about 60 to 70 pence each. Now this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Fire Chief truck. Shovel nose. Matchbox. Speed Kings. Not sure if it's K37 there or whatever. But who's ever seen the fire service going in one of those? And not that dissimilar to that matchbox Sea King's Maserati Bora, really. There's a lot of similarity there. Right, put him to one side. Duckham's race support, another Land Rover, Corgi, later Corgi, plastic base. Very nice condition. Might be able to do some sort of race diorama. Now I've got some support vehicles on the go. Another Metro. Colgi, Austin Mini Metro, there's the other one. So I think they both should have been the same. This one's obviously a bit more worn. He probably didn't have the data post sticker down the side. Put those two to one side. Air Italia, Majorette, Minibus, number 262, 187 scale, made in France. That's a nice little thing. Again, I think just to polish on him. I am thinking of doing some one minute makeovers as um, YouTube shorts. And that's the type of thing that would fit well. Corgi Toys, Whiz Wheel, Ford GT. 70. Doors open. If you can see in there, it's quite a nice cockpit. Gold steering wheel. He's all intact. Woo! Up comes the tailgate. Huge engine in there. And that is a thing of beauty, that is, isn't it? In modelling terms. Bit chipped on the paint, etc. Metallic green. Some stickers. Be interesting to do that car. I do like him. Put him to one side. Now, security vehicle. This is the second one of these I've got. This one's got a yellow base. High speed van by Corgi. No glass, really. Just these um, plastic bars. And I keep meaning to do one of these, but this one's not badly play worn, really. So maybe another one for the minute makeover. What tends to happen, I think, first is these stickers go. But these aren't too bad on that one. <clears throat> now I've got two of these. One in the orange and a very similar one in the yellow. So this is, I don't know if you can see that there, Matchbox Speed Kings K12 Mobile Crane. Matchbox Super King, sorry. 1971. You probably can't see all that in there. I've struggled. Missing his jib. His bit of string. Then I think this is probably an earlier version. Let's see if you can see underneath. Matchbox Series King Size K12 1969. If you can just see that all that in there, try and get that in the light for you. So the same thing, a few years apart, I think. I've not done any commercials yet, but I am looking forward to 
doing some commercials. Little Volkswagen Golf, no doubt. Oh, it's pole out. Some sticky blue tack on it. Colgi Juniors. Wheels are a bit, bit bent and stuck. Coming towards the end now. Jaguar XJS police car. He's lost his um, blue lights and a police sign. Colgi, made in Great Britain. Jaguar XJS. Not very well liked when it replaced the E-Type and um, now getting the um, salt after status it really deserved. Keeping the police car theme going. Here we have another Jaguar Corgi Toys 2.4 litre and that is a nice thing. That's all metal on top, totally intact. Glass is a bit dirty, but that's going to be nice to do. And keeping the police thing going. Corgi Toys, Riley Pathfinder. Oh, didn't spot that one I bought him. He's lost his um, front window frame there. I think that can be put back though. I'm sure I'll be able to do something. Very play one. Is that a little Hillman? Hillman Minx. Dinky. For his age. I bet he's knocking on 50 years old. He's, he's quite nice. Look forward to doing him. What's that orangey mustardy light brown? Ooh, bit of a combine. Matchbox combine harvester. 1971 made in Thailand 1977 sorry I think he's all intact I've not seen one of these recently but I'm guessing he's all intact I'm guessing this is the bit that goes missing little Fiat X19 I think yeah don't say who made him Chinese maybe he's got his rear glass and he's got this um you call it radiator top because the engine's in the rear on the X19. His class is good and a good early sports car. Not many of these left on the roads now, most of them tended to rust away. And what is that? A Renault 5 Turbo Corgi Renault 5 Turbo. Lovely thing, very sought after now. He's all there. And you know I do love doing a rally car, so I'm going to enjoy doing him. Whether I'll do in the number 9 Michelin and Renault Elf colours, I don't know. Is this a Golf or is this another Polo? Corgi Juniors. Number 12. Not sure, I've just dropped my specs to take a look. Oh, it's just a pattern number. Made in Great Britain. I think that is a Golf, that one. Compared to the Polo, mm, don't know. See, that's got VW Polo written on it. So it looks very similar. Stack them high. And the last in this month's July 2023 haul Matchbox Formula 5000, 1976. So these had an American V8 5 litre engine in the back. I think that's where I got that from. His wheels are a bit um, on the screw width. But the guy's in there and he's going to be lovely to do as well. The box is empty. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. I hope we have um, another purchases video sooner than this one, which has been about three months. And um, thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you all next time.